Okay, this retouch tool that I'm going to talk about right now is called Content Aware. So you can see here on my image, um, I just have a grass field, okay? Um, but before um, I, I edited this photo, this is what it looked like. You can see there was a golf ball right here in the, in the rough, right? So how did I get it to be like this, right? So the golf ball disappears. And honestly, it's really hard to tell where that golf ball was, right? Now you can... Now that you know where it is, it's it's um, you know it, it's a little obvious, but it's 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 actually pretty good. So, um, how did we do that? So, we've started here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer here, and I'm going to replicate how this tool works. So, what we're going to do first is we need to make a selection around the golf ball. Okay, so for this, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And I'm going to take the circular ellipse tool, okay, the ellipse select tool, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna create a circle around it. Now, with this tool, you don't want to have you don't want to make your selection really big like this, right? The selection is 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 really big. Um, you're gonna affect all of the area inside of that selection. So let me get rid of that and make it a little smaller. You don't want your selection super tight around your object either. If you do that, you're not going to get all of the, um, you're not going to get rid of the entire object there. So, um, in cases like this where you know I've got grass or some sort of like um, texture or pattern for the background, this tool works great. So you can see my tool is is much much smaller here, um, and I'm going to make that just a touch smaller here. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be very big. You just need to be, you just need to have the object completely inside the selection. So there's my circle right around my golf ball. And how this tool works, it's pretty easy. We're going to go up to Edit, Fill, and then in the Fill area, we want to select Content Aware. It's the very bottom one. Okay. Now, once you do that, I always leave my blending mode to normal for cases like this and I leave my opacity at 100 so those should default to those settings so right now all I'm going to do is click OK and you can see that it goes through and it, and it, and it figures out what that texture what that background would be underneath that golf ball and fills it now with grass and things like this it does a really good job it's really hard to tell where that golf ball was okay so if you have textures if you have um, you know some sort of some sort of background that is similar to the grass here like cement or the grass or water maybe um, leaves something like that some sort of textury background where if you know it's it's a little abstract there's not like a, a, a structure to it or anything like that it works really well and things just disappear so that is content aware